Hi guys and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. I'm here today at the Quintic Lab in Sutton Coldfield, England, doing a test on the Axis One putters on a robot. We're also using the Quintic software to look at the ball roll and how this contact point will affect ball roll. So we're looking to see where the basically the center of gravity is in the putter, the point of zero twist if you like, and just really have a look at how these putters perform in general and a general review. So first glance of the putters, they're obviously very different looking. Uh, when you try and do the kind of balance test that you know traditional golfs would do, what you'll notice here is the heel sticks down rather than traditional putters with more toe down or what we call face balanced. So this is very much a heel down putter design on both models. Um, it's obviously very different looking here because the heel shape of the putter, and you'll see this from the close-up images I show you, is different to other putters you would look at. In terms of the rest of the cosmetics, it's it's fairly fairly normal looking putter once you take the heel side of it out of play. Um, and I'm going to hit both of the putts, putters and see how they feel, see how they perform, and also we're going to look at the Quintus Softer results. <music> Okay, so the findings. What we found is when the ball was hitting where the line is in the putter, there was basically zero twist. So basically, the center of gravity or the point of zero twist is where the line is in both the putters. So that's really, really useful to know. A lot of heel shafted putters, the point of zero twist is generally nearer the heel. Because of the way this is designed with the shaft bend, that actually continues pointing towards where the line is in the putter, which makes it a point of zero twist. What we also find using the Quintec ball rail software is if we hit the ball at the toe and the heel, the amount of, of, if you like, twist was very small also. So it meant the loss of energy into the golf ball was also very small. So basically the smash factor, if you like, in putting, which is kind of the ball speed in relation to the club head speed, was only marginally disrupted. So it means that the putter, again, is going to provide very stable results, heel, center, and toe. So in terms of performance and stability really through impact, this putter performs really, really well. It is, as we said earlier, a different looking putter. But when you hit some putts with it, the, the kind of feel and the stability kind of shines through and you get that kind of real stable feeling of impact. So a very stable putter, uh, point of zero twist banging where they say it is, which is really, really useful to know when you're putting, you line the ball out the center and hit it in the center, you're gonna hit a, a ball with zero side spin basically, unless your stroke is a bit funky. Obviously we can all put poor strokes on the putter, we can all put good strokes on the putter, but with a robot type stroke which we set up here with a slight arc, hitting the ball in the center, it gave us the right results we were looking for. Slight tone, slight heel as I said, fraction of loss in ball speed, but not a huge amount because there was very little twisting, less differential between the club face and, and the path, so that was a good thing. A good thing and a good sign. So the Axis One putter, try it out, give it a whirl. You know, it, again, it's different to look at, but feels very good when you hit putts with it. Hope you've enjoyed this test on the Axis One putter. If you have, please click like down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects. And please post any comments, particularly of future videos you want me to do, and I'll come straight back to you with a video that will be useful for yourself. Thanks for watching.